is why I say there's no such thing as a good cop. Right? Oh boy. <laughs> I'm go. going on record with All this. Right. Here's, here's why. If you're a fireman, you take the job on. If you don't like running into fire, burning buildings, you don't take the job. Because no matter what happens, your job is to run into burning buildings, right? And you know, if you're not willing to do that, you don't take the job, right? If I'm a fucking telephone guy and I don't fix phones, right? Then I'm a shitty telephone guy. Right. The parameters of being a police officer say that you're, you take an oath to uphold other people's constitutional rights, right? At right. any given time that you don't do that, that is a, a, a blemish against you being a good cop. Okay. If you give a PBA card to, to a family member, you are a bad cop. If you <laughs> take a guy and you give a, you, you, you're speeding, when you don't have to speed and you're not chasing somebody down for a crime, you're a bad cop. If you double park in a bus stop, you're a bad cop. If you do any of those things because the parameters of you being a good, good cop is that you follow the law. It's, there's pedophiles are horrible, but Catholic priests who are pedophiles are worse because you go on record as being the guy who, who the guy who's supposed to be the moral standard. But wouldn't you say? Wait, wait. Go ahead. Go. I'm sorry. Because like you're saying, if you don't follow the law, that is what in turn makes you a bad cop. But then sometimes in them bending the law, it's uh, favorable depending on the situation. Like you get a speeding ticket, they go, "All right, I'm laying up for the warning." That's, that's let them let bend in the law a little bit to let you slide. And in that situation, it's a good, it's like a thank you. It's good for you when they do it. But then yeah. when they when they murder you in the street, and put a knee on the back of your neck, and then yeah. they have qualified yeah. immunity, and they're not held responsible for it, it's bad. So I'd that's rather you give me the ticket... Right. Which is yeah. not a crime. It's a it's a it's a it's a, it's not a felony. It's not even a misdemeanor. It's a True. citation. I would rather you give me the ticket than to fuck and follow the law than to not follow the law when you have autonomy over my life. So if you're if you're not following the law, you're not a good cop. Even if you see some other cop violating my rights, by you not you being complicit in that, it, your 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 oath is to keep to to stand up for my rights, my constitutional rights. If your if your fellow officer is is violating my rights, it's your job in your oath to stand up and say no, you can't do that. Mm -hmm. If you're not doing that, you're a shitty cop. So you basically, I understand that what I'm saying is that the. The, to, to, people are all human and any yeah. job there's plenty of secretaries that steal copy paper and paper clips and whatever else right. but the point is the difference is that secretaries don't have autonomy over people's lives and so the minute you 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 st and, and it's it becomes the same it becomes the same. They're, those cops that didn't nail, kneel on his neck, they could say, well, I just didn't do anything. That's not your oath. Your oath is to keep the – your oath is to protect people's rights at all costs. But what, so what about – but then what about the cop? Did you see the video? Uh, I think Willie D posted it. And he said this is how law enforcement should go, I think was the caption. But it was a white cop with a black uh, uh, dude. On the ground, he, able yeah, trying to cuff him. On the ground, they trying to cuff him. These other dudes walked up with cameras. They go, what's going on? He goes, my knees on. The cop goes, my knees on his back. Look. My, yeah, and he I goes, saw that. He goes, that. do you guys want, can you guys help me? And then right. they stepped he says, in. No, like, he, says, he says, do you want to help me? Yeah. And the guy goes to the black dude, gets on the floor and says, look, move your arm dog stop re stop resisting that I, I saw it and they cuffed the dude brought it, it right. literally brought a tear to my eye right the so fact, and then, to me that's a good that's a good cop right there i mean that's I, y you know i wouldn't uh, yeah i i would say that but why are we in that position now why well, that, are why is that the case right kind now? Of, i i hear you dude it's 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 it's, it's almost like saying uh, there's no such thing as a good banker right. there's some good bankers out there it's unfortunate 
that the banking industry has snowballed <laughs> in the right. direction it, the, it has. The param- the param- so even it if gets, you're a good, even if you're trying, up. if even if you're trying to be a good cop, but Dante, the par- are you saying that the system is so messed up that there is? I'm saying no that way the, the parameters of the par- parameters of the system and the doesn't allow. Even if you're a good person <laughs> and your attempt is to be a good cop, the it's system like does. The system doesn't allow you to be a good cop. Yeah, I'm not saying that there's not good people. There's not if there are good people, but once you put people in that in that position, it, it, look, it, there's cops who want to stand up and go, "Yo, this is wrong. You shouldn't be kneeling on this guy's neck." But if he does it, then it's like, "What are you a sellout?" What is now? The next time he calls for backup. He don't get back up. He's on his own because he's a snitch. If mm. he goes to to internal uh, internal affairs, okay. then he's a snitch. Because and, and so now he's outed. So there's a whole the blue wall of silence that doesn't allow it. And the reason why that is is because there's no oversight. Because the union, the police unions, are, do exactly what they're supposed to do, which is to keep the people on the job, bad, good, or otherwise, because that's their job. Every yeah. time somebody, if people, people are not going to pay union dues if you're not protecting them to stay on the job. Well, it's like we talked, we talked about this before, and I use the example of presidents, and it's just, you know, it's like, I, I hear you, I hear you. There are good men, but the job requires you to, to do bad things which then by default puts you into the bad category. It's like, I, know, I believe in my heart that, for example, Obama and Jimmy Carter are decent men. I really do. I know they did foul shit, yeah. but I also don't think that they're Trump. You know what right. I'm saying? Like, exactly. Trump, yeah, is, sure. Trump is another level. Nixon's another level. You know what I mean? Well, let me say, Jimmy Carter, I've read a, I read a biography on Jimmy Carter. He was a motherfucker because he was actually a, he was actually a, um, his, he was, you know, a peanut farmer and basically his ancestors were, were slave owners. Hey, and mm-hmm. so his money was made by the, the, the sale. See, so he no. can't even. <laughs> he can't. You're about to tell me Obama was a slave owner. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> if you look at the map, oh, the 23 and me, it Jesus. gets nasty, Joe. You don't want to see it. Young <laughs> man school, 202. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Better man.